How's it, humans? Well, hi, guys! Sorry I was gone for a second. I went on vacation to California to see my family, Mabilia. Amelie, family. Milia, Babilia. Family of... Yeah, that. Familia. We went to the desert to ride around on dirt bikes and shit. Here's a little clip of what we did. Pretty nice setup. We got our fire pit over here, all our chairs, wood, trailers. We had a few more people over here, but they left, so now we just have a giant half circle. Pretty fun. Chilling at the desert. Okay. 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 All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's get into the real video. So I've noticed that somewhere down the line in communication, humans have developed some very redundant phrases. And so today, I'm gonna say some of them to you and list them in a form of lists. List them in a form of lists. Good redundancy, Becca. Good redundancy. If you don't know what the word redundant means, I looked it up for you, so I'm gonna tell you. It's an adjective, in case you were wondering, and it is defined as not or no longer needed or useful. So here we go, here are some of the most common redundant phrases that I thought of in my head. Added bonus. Fellow neighbors. Free gift. Over exaggerate. This one's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> I hate when people say over exaggerate. Pin number, because pin, P-I-N, stands for personal identification number. So the word number is redundant. On the same lines, ATM machine, the M in ATM stands for machine. Absolutely sure. Advance notice. End result. Foreign imports. Unexpected surprise. Repeat again. So those are a few of the phrases that are extremely redundant, and if you find yourself using these, know that it is not necessary to say both words. If you can think of any other common redundancies, please let me know in the comments down down below. I like caffeine. Whee! Alright guys, do you know what time it is? It's time for Becca's Tip of the Day! Whoop. Today's tip of the day is to never bring a credit or debit card to the bar. Only bring an allotted amount of cash that you have decided with your sober brain that you would like to spend. And if you only bring that much cash, you won't be able to spend more money on drinks and therefore won't wake up the next morning to a giant bank statement. And I'd like to thank the receptionist at the doctor's office this morning who told me this awesome tip of the day. <laughs> See, I went to the doctor, I got blood taken out of my arm, it hurt, and they dug around in there. Okay, humans, I hope you're having an awesome possum week, and I love you very much. I hope to see you soon. There are links down, down below to all of my social meds, if you'd like to check those out and click on them. Also, on a further note, I'm super close to 500 subscribers, so you could comment something that you want me to do for me... For meeting the 500 subscriber mark. I don't know, a lot of people I've seen do like dare videos or like kind that kind of shit, but um, I'd like some suggestions because I know that you like to watch these videos, so I want to put out content that you like to see. All 500 of you. Oh my god, I can't believe there's actually 500 people that like subscribe to this channel. It actually trips me out. 500 is a big number. That would fill up a fucking giant room, 500 people. So thank you for being one of those individuals. Alright you guys, as always, mahalo motherfuckers.